Hi guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the stream today. It is Tuesday the 13th of February. Yeah, we're in February. It is February. And we're back. We're going to continue on playing some Half-Life 2, episode 2 today. Uh, carrying on from yesterday where we got pinned down slightly by the Combine. Uh, hey Aaron, what's going on? Yeah, we got pinned down by the Combine yesterday and... Um, we managed to escape. I think that's where we left off yesterday, actually. We just, like, escaped the clutches and killed off all the Combine. So, um, decided not to go any further than that yesterday. I need to reset my headphones. Because they like to do weird things. For some reason. There we go. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. So, without further ado. Excuse me. Um, yeah, where did we get to? How far are we on here? We are on chapter uh, 5 of 7. I don't know. Maybe we could get done today. I really don't know how much further we've got to go. Anyway, I digress. Let us begin. And carry on with Half-Life 2. Episode 2. Uh, okay, cool. Everything looks tickety-boo. Let's go. Literally, I like... Oh, hello. I still need to do here. Literally, the moment I adjust my Windows audio, it goes really loud in my headphones. So I have to then adjust the head volume slider on my headphones. I don't know why. Just weird, sort of. Excellent driving, not Fantastic. That was, like, best driving ever. Clearly that's where I just came from. That's the tunnel, I guess, that we've had to take the detour around. The radar's going off, Warden. That was a bit late. Wake me up when you get back. Am I going to get ambushed here? Okay. Uh, maybe I can, like, either shoot this down or gravity gun it or something. That would seem... the obvious choice. Because that's all... We can't get up there, that's clearly um, skybox. Right, I don't think the gravity gun will be strong enough. So, what else have I got in my arsenal? Um, I could RPG it, but that would seem like a waste. Maybe I do need to get up there. Huh. I don't believe I can, though. I don't think I do. No, I definitely don't need to get up there like that. So. Next up, can I hurl any rocks or anything towards that, uh, that direction? Maybe. Alex.
Sorry, Mrs. Knock brought cake. Um, all done. Excellent. Let's grab a save. Going on, Indifferential. <clears throat> Welcome on to the stream. Hope you're well. Played two interesting portal maps from you last night that I recorded. So, um, yeah, they'll be on the channel sometime next week. Very interesting indeed. That doesn't sound good. You think close enough to make it the rest of the way on foot if we have to. Uh are you coming then, Alex, or have I gotta literally like open something up here? Cause that's an invisible wall that stopped me from going any higher than there. Hey, it's dog. Oh, oh shit. Maybe I shouldn't wait. I wasted my rockets. Yay, dog for the win. Brain, anyone? Brain? Those things are actually real? Wow, that's crazy. Probably shouldn't stick around for long, you know. You all right down there? We're fine. Dog, okay. Better now. We've been waiting for you. Just follow the stream, then head up the other side. White Forest is right there. You can't miss it. All Thanks. Right. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Can you get this out of the way for us, dog? Come on, Gordon. Get the car and we shall stop to a race. Okay. We've got a race, dog, seriously. Get in. Looks like we need your help again. Would you mind? I was just thinking the same thing. Maybe there's an achievement. What's going on, Expedition Fiction? Welcome along. Hope you're well. Ah, that's cheating. You cheat. I went the wrong way. Whoopsie. With my driving skills should be easy. <laughs> They are good, thanks, Expedition Fiction. Thanks. We had a feeling you 
were close when we saw a dog take off like that. I was never so glad to see him, believe me. Well, Gordon, White Forest, we made it. Safe at last. <laughs> cliche. Very cliche. <laughs> I like to think I am good at driving games normally, but um, hey, this is Half Life. Open the door. Let me in. <laughs> this has been a normal driving game, then yeah, I'd have wiped the floor with him, but hey, it's not. It's a shooter. Our mutual friend. Alex, Dr. Freeman, you made it. Hey. Of course. Boy, are we glad to be here. Yeah, well, Doctor's gonna stay there. I think they learned their lesson. Do you mind if we uh, keep dog patrolling out here? <laughs> Not at all. You heard him, dog. I'm gonna go see Dad. I'll catch up to you later. Take care of yourself. I don't think Eli knows you're here yet. He's in Silo One Access Unit, right through here. Shall we? Of course, it's a combine. Who else would it be? Same old Dr. Magnuson. So, you ever used an AR2 before? AR2. Silo one. I guess it's that way. Hey, Gordon. What's going on? There, there, sweetheart. We're together now. That's all that matters. And look at you, son. Are you going to give him the message, I Alex? If we both stay together, you can get through anything. Yeah? We make a pretty good team. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. Because, well, now that the suppression feels down, we all have to do our part. Dad? Can you blame an old man for wanting grandkids? Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> What's... What happened to you? Dad, it's not what it looks like. I'm fine. Are you sure? Shouldn't we have that looked at? Really? I'm fine. Uh, where's Dr. Kleiner? We should get this data to him right away. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, we should. He'll be glad for a chance to get out of the silo. This way, Gordon. Way Why, why is he in... Going at it. You think they were still competing for grant money? <laughs> Something's never changed. <laughs> Unfortunately not, I guess. Do we have any idea how long until the super portal's active? We don't know. Sure. Who's Martin Freeman? I don't know who Martin Freeman is. And what Who's about he? the Combine? Will we be able to launch before they attack? It's going to be close. All it will take is one strider to destroy our rocket. But we're ready for it. I'm sorry we couldn't get here any sooner, Dad. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're going to I'm just so glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. The free man. <coughs> what the three three men? The three free men. Okay. I haven't watched Sherlock, so. Of course. They're inseparable. The data, people, the data. Kleiner, are you going to sync up the satellite, or should I postpone the launch to make time for a family reunion? Oh, well. All right, all right. All right, calm down. I Jeez. Saying hello to Alex he, he, he strikes me as someone that's like going to double cross this whole out operation. Just saying. Data packet you've been carrying. 
If I delay a single moment, I'll never hear the end of it. You have my word on it. It's right here, Dr. Kleiner. We've got a ton of data. The strange thing is, it was all attached to a transmission from Judith. Transmission? From Judith? Do you mean the message didn't get through? We've got to see this right away. Just let me start the decoding process, and then we can view it in the auxiliary control room. For God's sake, hurry. Yes, yes. Of course. Another alarm? What's next? Parade of constant interruptions. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Anyone? Oh, okay. What's going on there, Akul44? Hope you're well, buddy. Great. Uh, once you're down there, I'll have Uriah let you into the secondary silo. Well, what are you waiting for, Freeman? A hug? This yeah, why not? Why can't I have a hug? You know, I'm a human. God, this guy sounds like a right jerk. An absolute tool. Just saying. Sorry, I thought I had a gravity gun. Oh. Magnuson has instructed me to admit you into the secondary silo. Thank you. The secondary silo can be reached through here. All right. It's giving me crossbow bolts. Does that mean I gotta like I'm like gonna go do some like bird shooting or something? Is this really gonna happen? Wouldn't surprise me, but hey. I'm gonna get frickin' I'm gonna get bum rushed here, aren't I? Let's be honest. Who we'll know what's gonna happen? The breach is right here, dude. Seriously. Oh, hello. Oh, mother trucker.
shit. Where you at, mother trucker? Bitch. All right, where to next? Are we up there? It's on, bitch. Shotgun. Seriously, what do you think I'm trying to do, dude? Honestly. Do you think I'm just like sitting around with my, my, my head in my ass or something? That's not gonna work. That will. Reload. Oh shit. Running. Okay. <clears throat> Where are these dudes going to come from next? Is the question. Looks like we're going 
underground. So let's get the um, crossbow ready. Trucker. Keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Shoot you! This dude, really, seriously. Oh, get through here. Oh, come on, no! Really? Really? You just ignore the fact I'm stood right here. <laughs> oh, dear. That was great. Good job. Good job. My guys. This is Dr. Magnuson, and I am pleased to announce the secondary silo has been sealed. But back to work. I like the never guys. Maybe make it. We couldn't get in till you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. Regrettably true. I better let my dad know you're all right. Here, have a med kit. Thank you. That's what I've been waiting for. Can I have another one? Dad? Can I have another one? Is everything okay? Yeah. Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. All right, maybe not. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Maybe he's Morgan Freeman. Hey, Morgan. Freeman must follow. Let's follow. Follow, Freeman. I am following. Vordy Vordy gone. So the dude just gonna the chill down there. From here. I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnus. Sure thing. 
Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. I wonder why. <clears throat> Maybe they're gonna like launch a joint missile strike or something. Possibly. The Borealis! The Borealis? Good God. Incredible! What? The Borealis? It's real? <laughs> oh, yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise, but in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. You heard that research vessel had simply disappeared. Vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the combine. Did you use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Did the Black Mesa talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catches, he'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't take that chance. I'm going after Dad. it. Dad! No, Eli. The only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get of course. Him. You mean I'm more than capable of handling it, Alex. Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. You're waiting for the Combines. Go ahead. They'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry along, Magnuson. What a right. douche. Dad, are you okay? Not again. Not again. I can't let it happen. Not under the black mess. You... Have you passed on the message yet, Alex, or not? Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad. Okay. It's okay. Is that like a way of you, baby. killing him or something? Fine. What? In a minute or two. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, did you keep an eye on him? We're we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. It just seems that saying those words like made him like massively deteriorate. It's weird. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when you whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. G Man. Mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I. I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now, now he's using my little girl, putting words in her mouth. God damn it. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's 
not so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance to, um, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh, oh, excuse me if I interrupt. <laughs> yeah, you never interrupt tea time. Seriously, never, ever, ever. Well, Freeman, I believe I've found the perfect use for you. Follow me, quickly. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. What are you going to do? Strap me to the rocket and send me to the moon or something? Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. Ooh, what's that? Until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest. And this ingenious take one of those, do one of those, and then shoot it with the gun. Device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. What, you now what it is is a sort of sticky bomb, although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then yeah, blow we're, we're going to find out all about that in uh, episode three, right? The device, but, well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Oh, okay. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. Okay. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. Good. Now, take out the firearm. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Okay. Raya, send the target to the far end of the rails. So we've got to play like a tower defense game now, I guess. This is what this whole point part is about. Try it now. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? Too high? As you can see. The Magnusons are fragile. They will disintegrate immediately if they miss their target. Oh, really? Come on. Aim for the carapace. Yeah, I know what I'm aiming for. Jeez, shut up. Let's see you having a go. I really don't like this guy. Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Can I attach one to your head? Does that work? <laughs> Alright, I think I got this. I think I got this, right? All right, yeah, I got this. Had enough? Yep, Your let's go. Is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying it on reminds me a bit of Bill Murray, I think. Or my Magnusons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. 
microwave casserole? What? <laughs> Alrighty then. Have I got a device in the back of my car as well? That's pretty cool. It's pretty freaking cool. liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. Okay. No need to thank me. I'm not thanking check you. check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. You are here. Gangs up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. Okay. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. Thanks. All right. You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley. Thanks. Perimeter's clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. Supplies. I'm guessing the sawmill would be on a train track, right? That's my reasoning. So they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. Okay, no pressure. Striders aren't bad enough. Recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! Uh -oh. North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider approaching from the cranes. Defensive position, go! Oh boy, here we go. Everyone ready? All right. Oh, thanks. Rider at the sawmill. Where is he? There he is. Crap. He's like taking out my thing. Oh, this is gonna be frustrating if I gotta like do this every time. Uh where's the thing? is a strider man oh okay I get think I, what I need to do then oh, this is gonna be pain in the bum man Oh, 
I am not enjoying this. Oh, for f this is dumb. Yeah, I'm not enjoying this bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, this is just dumb. I'm sorry. I don't like this at all. I didn't want to play a tower defense style game, I wanted to play Half-Life. Ah, oh, this is so dumb. Kill me now, please. Yeah, this is this is dumb. In my opinion. Strider coming from the cranes.
Oh, this... This is stupid. Why on earth did they think to put this bit in here? I don't know. But... I feel that this is ruining my experience now of the game. <sighs> just kill me. Please just kill me. Yeah, maybe I'm getting a bit salty about this, but I do not, I'm not enjoying this bit at all. This bit is just dumb to me. That's what I need to do more of. I can't even sprint with these things, man. Can I just not? Alright, I'm saving there.
All right. Have we finished this bit? Keep up the good work. Only a few striders left. Another strider coming in towards what used to be the sawmill. Stuck on the frickin' rocks, man. Sound like he's freaking motoring as well. I need some supplies. Take this med kit. Thanks. Shit, give me a chance to get freaking out of here, man. I can't get one of these freaking things, man. Come on. I hate this driving. Oh, I'm getting so mad with this game right now. Oh my goodness, this is. Oh my goodness, what is going on with this car?
Oh, I'm gonna save there. This is getting crazy. Is there nobody out here that can give me any health? It wouldn't be so bad if, like, they were just the striders, but the fact that they've got, like, the hunters with them as well. Are you kidding me right now with like these drop ships and stuff? Getting like a little bit silly.
Dude, get out of your legs. I really hope this is the last one. Like, genuinely the last one. I'm not going to return to base yet, guys. I'm actually going to cut it there. That was a little bit frustrating for me, but um, thanks in differential there for mentioning to take out the um, hunters first. Um, that kind of did make a lot of difference. So, um, yeah, thanks for that bit of information. Then we seem to get on a little bit better, but yeah, that bit was very, very frustrating. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. We will be back continuing Half-Life, maybe even finishing it tomorrow. But until then, guys, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.